Wait, why is this quesadilla so cold? Beef, I'm sorry. You should have microwaved it for a few more yeah. minutes. I, I should have left it in the microwave for a few more minutes, I guess. Apologize to- Apologize guys, I'm so to sorry, camera. guys, I'm sorry that the quesadilla is, is, is cold. I'm so sorry. Please don't kill me. Please, guys, I'm sorry. Anyways, moving on from stupidity. I have to apologize about me saying the N-word a couple of times and also being uh, homophobic. So, uh, yeah, go ahead, tell them. Yeah, tell them. Me? I didn't say the N-word, though. I didn't say anything homophobic either. Why? Why should I- Apologize to them about me saying the end words. Please, she is so sorry that she said those things on camera. Please forgive her. I need to eat and sleep. Please, just can you forgive her like just this once, guys? Please. That's not enough. You need to be sorrier. More sorry than sorrier. Songbird ASMR. The only song channel on YouTube that has the word song in their channel name but has nothing to do with music. She's a YouTuber who does ASMR mukbangs and uh, what what is going on with these fries? Girl, they're they're yours. No one's gonna take them from you. Relax. I made a video about her two and a half years ago, and almost every single day I get a comment telling me that I should do another video on Songbird. So she was exposed a while ago for saying the N word a couple of times for being homophobic and allegedly she's not treating her husband right and I know she also has a son and allegedly she's also not treating her son right. Let's start it off from the beginning where she was caught saying some words that she should not be saying. After a while he just kind of changed. So I'm perfectly willing to divorce him. I mean oh well, this is when he did it. I never say the N word in my life. Racist homophobic yeah, I forgot to mention that her husband has threatened to leave her a couple of times. I have no idea what she did, but uh, he was threatening to leave her. But I think we're kind of like we're doing a little bit too much discussion on my wife's stuff. Like, feel free to like bring up in the comments. Like he's section. scared to talk about his wife. I feel like Crystal is forcing you, Chuck. Are you okay? Thank you for your concern. Crystal monitors my YouTube channel, so I can't be as open. Dude, why does he make it sound like he's seven years old and his mom monitors his YouTube channel if he says any swear words, he could get in trouble, but uh, he's like 30 something years old, maybe 40, and he's scared because his wife monitors the YouTube channel? Something is going on behind cameras. There was also a leaked DM of the wife admitting taking advantage of her husband. I do have to admit the fact that Chuck listens to me. Oh my god, that's him? I have no idea what's happening with his relationship, but I'm gonna stay out of it because this woman kind of scares me. Like, just taking a look at her, you- What was that? Give me a sec, guys. I think something fell over here. What the hell is that? It looks like it's just a- Is that the remote that- Oh yeah, that's just the remote. I don't know why they're like- Oh my god, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to- Surprise, bitch! What did you say about me and my puppet? Look, there's a gay person right there! Where? Moving on to the apology video that I covered last time, but I didn't know there was an entire video of her apology because last time I thought she just briefly mentioned that she was sorry, but she made a full apology video. Oh, and uh, she reposted this on her own channel after she originally deleted it. And she just changed her mind. She, she was like, let's delete it and re-upload it again in a shittier quality. Good evening. I know I originally said I wasn't going to make this video, but I decided to do so to address a few things that have been happening the past few days. Firstly, I want to apologize for anything that I might have said homophobic or racist against LGBT community or oh the my Black God. Lives Matter movement. I remember this. What the fuck is LGBT community? LGBT community? LGBT community. LGBT LGBT community. I'm so sorry for all those racist, homophobic things that I've said against LGTV 
community and the black community, I swear to God, I will do better and I'm not supporting the LG TV community anymore. I'm gonna switch to the Apple one and buy an Apple TV because I'm not supporting the LG TVs anymore. Girl, it's not a TV company. What do I feel like she has no idea what the LGBTQ plus community is? Or the Black Lives Matter movement. Those words were not out of malice or hatred because I genuinely love those people. And she loves the, this really people? the reason why these comments were originally said was because I have a lot of censorship on my YouTube channel. I am a very sensitive person. First of all, who is this people? Because I genuinely love those people. They're humans just like you. She made it sound like she was talking about aliens, like. I'm so sorry about this new race that just fell on Earth, but I will try to be more inclusive, inclusivating all the new races that come to Earth. Like, I welcome them all. I tend to block and delete a lot of comments, even a lot of ones that aren't necessary to do so, too. And I do want to let you all know that from this day going forward, mm -hmm. censorship on my channel will be lessened. And I plan to give people more option to have a freedom of speech and freedom. Thank you, President! Oh my god, we can finally say what we want! I've been waiting for this moment. Like, when can I ask for more water? Like, when can I actually go to the beach? Thank you, Songbird, for finally giving me the freedom. I originally thought that having a censorship on my channel would create a more positive atmosphere for everyone, but having such a censorship... What the fuck is this? ...issues for everyone because I'm not giving them the freedom of speech they deserve to have and the voice she they deserve to have. She was censoring people? ...have. So, going from this day forward, like I said, I will lessen the censorship and give people the option to have more of a freedom of speech. God, the, what, the way she's saying things right now are so scary. Like, she had her own personal slaves and she's finally setting them free. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but uh, you guys are actually... Baby, yeah, can you tell them that they're the F word? I got you. No, not that one. Oh my god. No, they're gonna cancel me again. The the, the f F R. Free? Yeah, that one. As a free man who can finally say whatever I want, I'm gonna leave a comment for the first time on her channel. And you know what? I'm gonna tell her that she's finally growing and. Why do I feel like she was gaslighting? Politicians, when they make a thousand promises, but they keep none of them. Literally, Songbird! What, what happened to like, no more restrictions? You turned off the comments! It's a new day and Songbird and her husband have decided that they now support the BLM movement and they also support the LG TV community. They watch TV on an LG TV. So do you know what they did? They bought rainbow colored cupcakes. <laughs> Guys, look! I'm not homophobic! I buy rainbow cupcakes! Ooh, the chewing. Ooh, ooh, why are you zooming? Who watches this? Oh my god, I can't with these noises. Can y'all shut the fuck up? I'm working! Oh, and just in case people were worried, like, wait, lazy, but what if they bought the cupcakes, they ate a couple of them, and they threw the rest away because they're homophobic? No. She bought all the gay cupcakes because she supports the gay community, and you know what? To prove it, she finished the entire thing. Yeah, accusations? Where? Where are these accusations? She beat them up with gay cupcakes. Not only that, they also bought gay blindfolds! Okay, so Look at her supporting the gay community. <laughs> Unlike you guys buying regular blindfolds, she buys the rainbow ones to support the LGTV community. By the way, that mask looks really good. As I you guys know. may have noticed this past week, we have started a fundraiser for Outright Action International to help end persecution against LGBTIQ. 
There can be issues in America, there can be issues in Europe, but in other places of the world, people can be arrested, beaten, put to death for being who they are. And how right action international, they lobby. Literally me the next day after I get canceled. Hey everyone, it's me, Birdie, and I wanted to apologize to the foot fetish community. I made fun of you guys a couple of days ago and now you hate me. And you know what? To make up for it, I'm giving you guys my feed! There you go, screenshot them, take as many screenshots as you, as you want, mm -hmm. put them on wiki feed, and actually no, don't put them on wiki feed. Y'all are weirdos. I was actually gonna show my full foot here, but I've gotten a lot of comments that people are getting off of my... You know what? Fuck the foot fetish community! And you also might have seen the news about me body slamming this kid because he said I had a flat ass. And I wanted to apologize because that's not me. I'm not the type of person that would just body slam someone. Mom, me. mom, that's him. That's the guy who body slammed me. There he is, right? Oh. I finally found the video where she was talking about her son. And I'm, I'm gonna play it with you right now. But this was re-uploaded because I guess she did delete the video. And I had to dig deep for this. Like this was deeper than my credit card debt. Of course, the last couple months. We've been worried about him developing cavities and such because he does eat quite a few sweet things, but also yeah, you know, kids. as well as um, healthy things too, but he is also a very picky eater. I mean, most kids, right? He doesn't go overboard on sweets like other kids do, but he does have his fair share, but... That's not the main problem um, that's caused his uh, tooth problems. Stop beating around the bush. Beating the bush. What's the expression again? Beating around the bush? Beating the bush. Who came up with beating the bush? How are you beating a bush? Like... Oh my god. Watch me be cancelled next day for beating a fake Christmas tree. Just tell us what the reason is. Stop yapping. We took him to the dentist uh, okay. a month or two ago. We did find out that he, he had had cavities. some cavities and holes in his teeth. One particularly Ooh. in one of his lower molars. He has two holes and four cavities. Oh, that's sad. Um, and I was just completely dumbfounded. But I learned later on that um, you're actually supposed to help your kids still brush your teeth fully until they're like seven or eight years old and we had been trying to give him a little bit more independence and we weren't like monitoring him so Wait, in the what? end it was mine my husband's fault um that this happened hey you know what at least you're enjoying those nachos okay she did admit that she was wrong but i'm trying to understand what was the logic behind that though their kid was like what four or five max six years old and you stop monitoring him just because he wanted a little more independence girl he's like five years old what were you expecting from your child his brain is probably smaller than your clit and you're over here fully trusting your kid that he's gonna be responsible you know i feel like i'm smarter at a lot of things than the average person really i actually have some homemade food for you guys that's right i made this fettuccine chicken alfredo Fetto what fettuccine chicken alfredo fettuccine fat a city <laughs> fat a city chicken alfredo hmm. offending the blm movement offending the gay community and now offending the pasta community calling the pasta fat <laughs> Songbird, it seems like you want to be canceled. I'm okay with her shitting on other people because I personally don't like people either. But when you start calling the pasta fat, <laughs> now you're triggering me. Girls are still a tad tough. I admit I don't know how to cook them properly, but how do you not know how to boil noodles? <laughs> I mean, it's hard to boil them. It's just kind of hard to turn on the water and then let them boil and then check occasionally if they're boiled. So I get it. It's a struggle. Um, you know, they're kind of al dent. It's just always hard to tell. Al dent? Al dent? Um, you know, they're kind of al dent. Was she trying to say they're, they're al dente? She probably thought that al dente means that there's a dent on the pasta. So the pasta is all dead and not al dente. Happy Christmas, everyone, and Merry New Year. And oh, what? That triggered you? Good. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Members get to watch my videos two days early until the end of this month. Shout out to Strange and Stranger, Okio Soko, and Raha for being members on this channel. And oh my god, I just realized that I'm not wearing my Christmas thingy.
Now I'm really gonna get cancelled. If I wasn't gonna get cancelled by the foot fetish community or by the bush community for beating up a tree, I am definitely gonna get cancelled by the Christmas deer... What is this called anyways? Thank you.